Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to another episode of my 1.6 update Stardew Valley. Let's play. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Oh, it is the first day of summer and I'm feeling really good. I actually just wanted to like, I could not wait to record this episode and jump into summer because we're going to get all of our crops today. In the last episode, we laid out our crop area and we're starting to like design the farm and I feel like we're doing really good on the community center. So there is a lot for us to do. We have a uh, good humor today. I think it said that tomorrow's going to be a nice and sunny day but it says summer's here along with a whole spew of new crops to plant yes 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 i'm so excited uh take hops for example the vines take a while to grow but once they mature they can be harvested every day good luck so that's something we definitely want to keep in mind i do plan to get hops uh but look at this our strawberries have died we have a little bit of cleanup to do but let's take care of my cat and my chickens first let's go ahead and fill the water bowl here especially on these hot summer days and then, yeah, let's go do chickens first. All right, chickies, how are you, Beluga and Misty? Where is Misty? I need to clean this place up because it is looking rough and I still haven't done that. I, I do prefer a more natural look when I am, like, building. I don't like everything to be super, super symmetrical and stiff looking. But I will say, I this is a lot of clutter and I feel like it could, it could use a cleanup. Okay, so we are, of course, going to go to Pierre's, but I got, like I said, a little bit of cleanup to do. I probably should think about... Oops, that's not... That needs a pickaxe, not an axe. I should probably think about getting another scarecrow kind of for over here, possibly, because I don't know if this one's going to reach all the way over here. Uh, not sure about that, but another thing I'm going to do since we have time before the shop opens is I am just going to get my plots ready. So go ahead, hoe all of this. Today is just going to be mainly a planting day of crops and just kind of figuring out what I want this area to look like. I really cannot wait to get um, sprinklers. That's going to be extremely nice once we can do that, but we're still a little ways off. So... I'm kind of thinking it would be good to get my watering can upgraded. The only thing is uh, money. Uh, so we have to wait until our first crop harvest to do that. But I got everything laid out. I actually really quickly need to count how many blueberry spots we have here. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Okay, so six by nine. So that's 54 spots for blueberries. I think we might be able to get that many. Um, it depends because we have to get some other things too. Like I definitely want to get the flowers. Uh, we also need to think about buying an apple tree because that is one of the things we need for the community center. And they, um, they can be harvested during fall, which means we need to plant the tree during summer because it'll take all season for the tree to grow. But let's check our calendar here. Oh, Trout Derby. Oh, that's fun. That's new. Okay, and then we got the bookseller coming. Very interesting. Jazz's birthday and then the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies on the last day. It's going to be such a fun season. I cannot wait. But let's go into Piers and see what is new in stock for us to get. So we, we don't want to buy any melons because I have nine melon seeds from the um what's it called the museum so we've already got those definitely want to buy some hot peppers and some tomatoes i think we're gonna go one two three tomatoes one two three hot peppers definitely need wheat we need at least 10 wheat so i'm probably gonna end up buying 12 of these okay that will secure us the 10 that we need radish seeds we need poppy seeds for sure so we're gonna buy three of those. We're gonna buy the spangle seeds. We're gonna buy three of those. And then we're gonna buy, um, where is the other one? Oh, can we not? Oh, sunflowers. There we go. So let's look and see how much an apple tree is really, really quickly. Okay, apple tree is 4,000. That's gonna take a lot of our money. Uh, we always could plant that mid season if we want to. I do wanna get some hops. I'm probably just gonna get, let's go for three hops gonna sell that really quickly we can always sell our mayonnaise if we need to that's 850 extra dollars so let's just see how many blueberry seeds we can get with the remaining money we have i'm gonna do it in groups of six okay so we got the full 54 to fill out that that area so that is fantastic 
Uh, so we got all of our blueberries. So we do need a summer squash. I think I have a couple of those seeds so we can plant those. And then really the last one we need would be radish. We, oh, corn as well. We need uh, five quality corn, like gold quality corn. And that would be nice uh, to get early on, although we can do it next season as well. So I'm thinking maybe we start with the radishes. So one, two, three, we'll get three of those. All right, so then we just need to save up for... We need to save up for that apple tree. And again, it was, what was that? It was 4,000. We're not too far off. And then of course I want to upgrade my watering can too. In fact, we could potentially just go upgrade the watering can because it's, it's 2,000, right? I think so. I'm trying to think if I want to buy any more hops or if I want to buy any more tomatoes or peppers or anything because we still technically do have quite a bit of money. But this could be filling up our spots. So let's go see. Let's go plant everything and see how much room we have left. Okay, so first things first, we are definitely going to plant all of our blueberries. And I have a little bit of fertilizer here. I only have 20 speed grows. So maybe that's actually not a good idea to use on my blueberries because then they're going to all grow at a different time, which would be a bit weird. Uh, we also have the star fruit that we can plant. That actually might be kind of fun to plant. And then we have these. I also have some artifacts I need to donate to the museum. So uh, there's kind of a lot of like little busy work stuff we can do today. But let's go ahead and to put, put all that away. <laughs> let's grab out my melon seeds and my summer squash and my star fruit. And then potentially I'll use the speed grow on maybe something else like some of the other the other things we'll just put that clay up there for now okay so first things first let's go ahead and switch my hot bar here and let's get planting my uh flowers because i know those are gonna go over here so i'm gonna do these in groups of three i did plan this very strategically so there's all of our flowers then we need to plant my wheat which i guess we'll just put here we can always replant wheat as well so that'll be good uh, I think I'm gonna put my hops up here since they have the trellis and then let's see we have the tomatoes and the peppers these are reoccurring plants so maybe put those on this side um, but we'll see if we want to do that do I want more radish is the question because it's looking like we have a lot more space than I thought but let's go ahead and start planting all of my blueberries it's gonna get us a lot of money so I'm very very excited about this but again it's going to be crucial for us to get the watering can upgrade because this is going to be a pain in the butt if we need to water this every single day of the season so summer squash i got three of these which is perfect i'm just going to plant these above the wheat and then our nine okay we can't put the nine melons there but we can put the nine melons down here beautiful okay things are starting to look good i do have this star fruit this kind of one-off star fruit we could think about putting it here just so it's kind of by itself i think i'm gonna do that um let's just put the star fruit there and then we have three of these mm, three more radishes so we could go get three more radishes let's see we could do oh i have an idea Let's do tomato here, pepper here, and then we have our three radishes. We could go here, and then we have all this space. So we have technically one, two, three, four, five more sets of crops that we can buy. Now, I think Piers is closed now, so maybe we'll buy those tomorrow, but this is looking really good. This is looking like a good area of crops to get us started and we have a little bit of everything so i think i am super happy with that i might try to fill that other area with corn although corn is extremely expensive it's 150 gold so that's probably actually that's yeah that's definitely not a good idea i don't know i guess uh i'll just think of what else to fill it with maybe radishes maybe some more wheat would actually be good because we do have the chickens so that could be something. But I'm gonna go through and just water all my crops. Again, this is gonna be essential. I know I've mentioned this a million times, but I just really wanna ingrain it into my own brain that I need to get the watering can upgrade. The only thing is we need to wait for a rainy day uh, before we do that. Because if we don't, it's just, it's gonna 
we're gonna miss a day of being able to water our crops but there's 90 energy beautiful did i not fill up my watering can or did I, that really take all of my 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 water it was crazy i'm also excited because a summer means that we have new fish new fish that we can catch also some new forageables that we can find so definitely gonna spend a little bit of time over the next couple of days doing that wow we go through water really fast with watering all these crops i think one thing that we're gonna need to do is probably get a well soon uh i've never bought a well in stardew valley because i've never really had a, a need for it but this farm the water is kind of very spread out on the map so it might be nice and beneficial for us to buy a well that's a little bit closer and in perfect timing too i am starting to feel exhausted so today was really just about getting the new farm situated and squared away so i am feeling good about this progress that we have tomorrow we are probably gonna go look for some forageables uh, i mean i guess we could actually just kind of take a run around the map and go look for some forageables right now because that doesn't take up our energy i don't think so let's see if we can find anything um because we need to do the community center bundle for that is this tree like that tree looks so pretty <laughs> i feel like i've never seen that before it almost looks like you could harvest stuff from it but I, maybe not i don't know so like i said we're just gonna take a loop around the map and look at this We've already got two of the three that we need for the summer foraging bundle. So this is beautiful. Oh yeah, there's plenty of things to forage. This was a, a good time to do this. I'm, I'm glad I'm going ahead and taking the time because I was going to go to sleep. But then I was like, you know what? We have valuable time that we could use to kind of get things done. And since I have the glow ring now, you guys can see a lot better what I'm doing. So that makes things nice. Hey, Sebastian, you're the first person I've seen today. Everyone is so happy in the sun. I don't get it. Little vampire boy. Oh, sun. Ah, scary. True. That's what, that's what I feel like Sebastian is. But honestly, same. There are times where I get cooped up in my room all day, just like recording or editing. And then I'll leave the house to go run an errand really quickly. And it's the sun is so bright. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, look at this. We found the last one that we need. So it is spiceberry, sweet pea, and grapes are what we need for the community center. And we've already got that checked off, which means we are going to get the last room of the community center unlocked to, or I guess tomorrow in game, because it's a little too late to do it today. But that's so exciting. All right. Did I pet my cat today? Oh my God. I didn't mean to whack my cat. Okay. Nothing happened. We're good. I'm surprised I didn't wake the cat up. Goodness gracious. Okay, so today is a sunny day. Let's see here. What is tomorrow? Please be rainy. No, it's going to be beautiful and sunny. Okay, fortune teller. Uh, the spirits are feeling neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, I will take that. Uh, we need to water all of our crops, obviously. I mean, look at this. This is, this is something. Fill that spot back in. And then, um, yeah, let me just, let me take care of the things around the farm. Hello, Bluga. Where is Misty? Misty likes to hide behind this tree sometimes. Or in the grass, apparently. <laughs> Misty was right there, hiding in the grass. Beautiful. So today we're definitely going to try to go over to the museum if possible and turn in our artifacts because they're kind of clogging up my inventory and I don't want to forget that I have them and need to turn them into Gunther. So I'd rather just get that done ASAP. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me go ahead and get everything watered before we leave and head out for the day. And there's the last one. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and run on over to the community center, drop off what we need for that bundle, and then we will head over to the museum and drop off what we need for that. Uh, it's still no rainy day, so we're not gonna do Clint and go upgrade my axe, or my, not my axe, my watering can. That is gonna be the first thing I upgrade because it takes a really long time to do it one at a time. And it's going to be so much faster for us to do it that way. But uh, yeah, let's go up to the community center. I think it'd be nice to spend some time fishing today uh, to try to see if I can get some of the new summer fish. But I am ready to unlock my last room, which is the vault room here. So if we go into summer foraging, we can hand in a grape, 
the spice berry and a sweet pea bundle complete there it is this is probably one of the easiest bundles to get ever uh but there we go we got some more summer seeds that i don't know if i will or won't plant i guess we'll see i don't know um but exotic foraging winter foraging forest fall um let me just check the progress on this oh yes i need more moss Hmm, that'll be interesting. Also, I need to get the tappers. We need to we need to befriend Demetrius so we can get the mushroom room. But here we go. We're unlocking the vault. Yes, 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 yes. This makes me so excited and happy. There it is. All right. So the the vault room is probably I would assume the same as it has been the entire time. You just pay money and you you get the things. That's pretty much it. Uh, so if we go up here, I just want to check because maybe the prices are different. Nope, 250, 10, 5, and 25,000. Okay, yeah, we could purchase this one if we want to, but I'm not going to yet because we have other things that we want to spend our money on for sure. But it's good that we have every room unlocked for the community center. That makes me feel amazing with our progress. So just heading on down to the beach to go see if we could do a little bit of fishing. But first, we're going to say hi to Leah because I haven't talked to her in a really long time. The sound of the farm animals is great, isn't it? Oh, it absolutely is. I love hearing little chickens. And I guess that's the only animal we have. <laughs> oh, worms. Worms, worms, worms. I wonder if we're going to get an artifact. Yes, we did. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go to the museum really quickly. Let's go do that before we start fishing. I almost forgot. So I was fishing guys and I found quite a few artifacts. It was a good luck day and I was getting quite a few chests and I ended up finding uh, a lot of artifacts that day. So it was kind of nice, but we have all of these to turn in. So we have the flute, we have the nautilus shell, the chicken and the starfish. We're cruising through the community center bundles or not, the, well that too, but um, oh, flute block. That's cool. Chicken statue. Nice. We're cruising through the museum as well. I am trying to get get done with that as quickly as I can because it's going to be... I, I, I did not mean to put that down. Can I, can I pick that back up? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Ew, you're all dirty. I've been working on the farm all morning. I just got a new harvest. Not a new harvest of crops. I just planted a ton of new crops. Can you blame me for being a little bit messy and dirty? But anyways, guys, it is time to do a little fishing. We have quite a few fish that we need to try to catch. So let's just give it a go. So we are specifically looking for a tuna and a tilapia. And we're going to go up. We'll try to get a sturgeon. And then we also need to get an octopus. But that only goes until 1 p.m. So we're past the octopus phase of the day. There is a red mullet. That is not one we need. It is if we want to catch all the fish in the game. We haven't caught that fish yet. But uh, still no tuna. Still no tilapia. Ooh. There's a treasure chest. I am going to get that. So the way I do treasure chests, I kind of do it the same way every time. Is I get about three-fourths of the bar up in the green. And then I um, go get the treasure chest. And then go back to the fish. Oh, we got another bone flute. Hey, we finally got some bait. I can fill my crab pots. That's amazing, actually. Man, I'm not catching anything I need. There it is. We caught a tuna. First catch of the tuna. Oh, I've got some new ideas to sleep on. Looks like we leveled up fishing again. So that is awesome. Uh, what do I want to get rid of here? Oh, I kept my speed grow on me. I also didn't use my speed grow. Okay, so tilapias are only till 2 p.m. So we're actually not going to be able to catch a tilapia. So I'm going to head out. I don't think there's any other fish that we need to catch. My inventory is full, so we're not going to pick up the clams or that oyster right there. Um, but let's head back up and let's turn in this tuna just so I don't forget. Gotta go up to the community center because this is one that we need for a bundle. Ocean fish tuna. There we go. So we just need the red snapper and the tilapia. Uh, those two are summer ocean fish. The red snapper only comes out during the rain, though. So we'll have to wait, wait for a rainy day. And then we also, um, the tilapia only goes until 2 p.m. So we have to go kind of earlier in the day for that one. 
but I want to go see if I could try to catch a pike potentially. I got to go back to the farm though and dump off my inventory, although it is getting pretty late at night. So maybe we, maybe we just try to do that tomorrow or something. I think I'm going to put my chicken statue outside of my little chicken house just because I feel like it makes sense and could be kind of cute. We'll put it there. Uh, and then I don't really know what to do with the other things. We have this flute block. Don't really know what to do with um, pickled green beans. Here's all of my forageables. We'll kind of hang on to those just in case we need to use them as gifts. We have the extra bone flute, which I'm going to put all of my extra artifacts that I've already donated in this chest. And then we've got the bait. We can sell all these fish. And then I'm going to use this bait to go put into a couple of my crab pots. Crab pot one and crab pot two. Beautiful. So we'll see if that gets us anything cool tomorrow when we wake up. Okay, so the well is only 75 stone and a thousand gold. Uh, so that's not bad. We have the stone for it. And I'm kind of thinking, what if we put it like right here in this little center area? That could be really cute. There's like this whole... Um, area we could use for planting later so it's like right in between these two so right here would be really nice for the well I think that's what we're gonna do uh tomorrow so well we got stone we got the money for it let's just go to sleep and move on to another day in Stardew Valley hey oh I'm pretty sure there was an earthquake during the night there it is <gasps> fishing level six dang the sonar bobber Shut up! Shut up, shut up! Oh my gosh! The trap bobber, the spinner, the bait maker. Oh, that's so cool! You guys, the sonar bobber, I'm so excited for because it shows you what the fish is before you catch it. It is like, so if you want to catch a legendary, you can see if it's a legendary, I'm pretty sure, before if you use the sonar bobber. So that's going to be huge. It's probably going to be really expensive to make, I would assume. But, oh man, is that exciting. That's so cool. All right, gotta check the TV. It's going to be beautiful and sunny, so it looks like we are still watering away for the next few days. Spirits are in good humor today. I think I'll have a little extra luck. Nice. Queen of Sauce rerun, stir fry. Okay, we've already got this one, so I'm not gonna read through that again, because I'm pretty sure I read through it before. If it says rerun, probably not gonna read through it again, because I do try to check the TV every single day. And uh, that means we'll get a lot of reruns on recipes, which is good because I want to try to get all the recipes. Uh, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Hmm, the shorts quest is here, my friends. The shorts quest is here. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. So... With that being said, I do know where the shorts are. We do have to befriend somebody in order to get them. Ooh! Also, wait a second, the crab pots! Hey! Old Mariner! Nice! Periwinkle and crayfish. We haven't gotten the periwinkle yet, uh, which is actually exciting because I get to check that off on my spreadsheet. <laughs> but let me say hi to my chickens really quickly. Let me go inside and see if we've got some new mayonnaise. Beautiful. Oh, there's an egg in my way. Oh, I'm glad I didn't just, like, step on the egg. Hey, we're getting new stuff in our crab pots. That is, that's actually exciting. I never really use the crab pots, but I, it can be kind of fun to do that. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a good time. Since we got this quest today, it might be nice if we started gifting villagers. So I am going to gift Marnie quartz and I'm going to kind of keep them on my bottom bar. We also need to befriend Demetrius and he likes strawberries. So I have a little bit of those on back stock. And then um, who else? Oh, I some of you guys were mentioning that I should befriend Sam and he likes Jojo Cola. So I am going to just put those on the bar. We'll try to gift these today. And then I need to go water my crops and then we're going to get moving on to today's progress. I was going to fill this space up with crops, this kind of open empty space, but I'm, I just don't know what to put there yet. Uh, especially because I would rather save my money for other things right now. Like I really want to get the upgrade for my watering can and I really want to get the... Um, 
the well so we have a couple things that we're kind of saving up for so if you guys are wondering why i'm not buying crops for this it's just because i just want to save save my money for other things right now this game is so interesting because it's definitely a balance like you definitely want to maximize your crop production and stuff like that but there's so many things to do in the game that you got to prioritize so many things and your money has to go to a lot of different places so sometimes it's better just to save it we also need to think about getting that apple tree soon that is something i don't want to forget about uh we don't want to just start that um in the fall time because then the apples won't be ready okay so super quickly let's run up to robin's and let's buy my well and then i was thinking i brought the stone on me yes i did okay i was thinking what we could do is try to get down to the beach before two and get that fish but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do it today we could potentially go try to get the pike though in the river that could be that could be easy for us to do Ooh, lots of clay love that oh yeah so the earthquake we had last night opened up this area which is really cool this is the train with the bath uh, so we can take a bath and rejuvenate our energy. We'll definitely go there soon, but as of right now, I, I don't really feel like we, we need to go there. Oh, I got a warp totem for the mountains. Nice. It's my first time getting a warp totem on this save. But we're not going to do that right now. We have a lot to do. Potentially before I go fishing, maybe we'll go up and go to the bath. But I just, I, I got to run around and do things. So let's do construct a farm building. We're going to do a well for a thousand gold and the stone. Let's go build, and then I got the perfect spot for it. We're gonna put it right about here. I think right in the middle where that little tuff of grass is is probably perfect, or we could do it there where the grass kind of looks a little bit more thicker, like it's all the way around it. Yeah, I think let's do it there because that's actually a little more like centered. I like that. Okay, that's where our well is gonna be. Okay, I'll start working on your well first thing tomorrow morning. Beautiful, thank you, Robin. I'm excited for that. I hope it doesn't take too long. Are you enjoying the season? I am, Maru. It's been so warm this this year. All right, is Demetrius in here? Demetrius might be outside doing a little bit of field research. So let's go see if we can find him and give him his strawberry as a gift. So there's Linus. I do want to befriend Linus. Demetrius kind of hangs out up here sometimes. Hmm, I'm not seeing him though. Maybe he's down below in town. Looks like we're definitely not going to be able to get the tilapia today, but that's okay. We have plenty of time in the season to do it, so I'm not worried about that. Two little things of worms here. Ah, more summer squash. That's what I like to see. You can get those planted, and there is a lost book. Nice. Okay, so I'm having, I, I have a feeling Demetrius might be somewhere down here. If we couldn't find him earlier, then he's, he might be like down here or potentially over here by this part. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Demetrius, don't run away. Ah, there we go. You're giving this to me. This is amazing. Uh, you're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. I hope so. I've been putting in a lot of work. Let's talk to Caroline. Hi there, do you have anything you need for the farm? If not, we might be able to help you out. Oh, I am all good. I just bought seeds from you. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Thanks, Hen Harvey. <laughs> Let's call them Henry. <laughs> uh, then make sure to wash your hands. Will do, doctor, will do. Okay, so Marnie and Sam, if we could find them, that would be great. Grady Evelyn, the good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. I've been working on the town's flower beds for months, so don't step on them. Oh, I wouldn't think about it. I would not think about stepping on the flowers. I, I consider that to be a very um, rude thing to do, is to, to prance all over flowers. Okay, so I'm currently looking for Sam, uh, but I'm not seeing him, so he might just be like running around somewhere. But we also do need to befriend Marnie. Marnie is super important to befriend, if you guys know why. I won't give it away if you're new to the game, but um, a lot of you will either spot some interesting things or you will, well, kind of hard not to spot interesting things right now. I'm, not, I'm still not going to give it away, but um, if you spot it, you spot it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, you can use a scythe to cut feed for grass or you can buy it from me, of course. Oh, yeah. So 
can we get we can buy hay from marnie i don't know why i forgot this was a thing i've never bought clay from uh, clay oh my gosh i'm getting my words so mixed up today i've never bought hay from marnie um but you can buy it from her it's kind of expensive though for like one piece 50 gold it's a little crazy hey mary lois what you doing here i'm just here to make sure all of marnie's business needs are met i love that he answered my question i'm just here to make sure okay yes 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 i'm sure you're attending to her business elliot what's up my friend so i'm kind of thinking i am gonna finish up today with a little bit of fishing we can catch the pike in the river and that's one of the fish that i need so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and give it a go let's see any any time in the river let's see if we can catch a pike all right so we're gonna get about three fourths up and then i am gonna go up and get the chest and go back down and get the fish sometimes this is a little bit hard but i think we got this one my bar is getting so much bigger you guys remember at the beginning of the series it was so small there is a chub. Not what we need, but that's okay. Oh, a couple geodes. I will take those. Uh, I think I still need a chub for the community center. Did I turn that in? I can't remember. We are catching chubs all day. <laughs> we got a crazy one. This one, I might not try to get the chest. Yeah, we definitely got a crazy one. What is going on? We got the chest, though. So this is definitely a new fish. Either a pike. This probably is a pike, actually. Holy moly, this one's hard. Bouncing on the top. Ah! I, uh, oh my god, that was so challenging. That was definitely a fish that we needed. I'm pretty sure that was either the Dorado or the Pike. We got a tough one. We got a tough one here. As long as I can kind of keep it in the center. Pike, 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 Pike. Yes! We caught the Pike. Let's go. That is what I wanted to catch today. All right, I'm going to head back up to the farm and we are going to close out this video. I am super happy with our progress today. Ooh, not nice. Lots of coal there. Okay, I'm super happy with our progress today. We got um, all of our crops planted. Well, I mean, we'll definitely get more in the future. We got a well that's starting to be built. We've got tons and tons of crops on the way. We got some bundles. We got the vault open. So that is amazing. Um, just feeling really good about our progress starting off this season. So let me organize my inventory and start to put things away really quickly. And then I will come back with you guys and close this video out. I was not able to give Sam his Joja Cola today. So I'll hold off on that until I see him again. But uh, that is everything for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. We're entering summer, which is going to be very exciting for the, season, for the series. Also this season, but very exciting for the series. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, to my patrons who help support this channel. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to head down below, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe because we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you guys want to help me achieve that goal, that would be amazing. So thank you if you do, but I will see you guys in the next episode of Stardew Valley. We're going to get on with some more summer things and we need to get an apple tree. There's like more bundle stuff, more fishing stuff. There's a lot to do, but anyways, you guys are amazing. I greatly appreciate you. Have a very beautiful, wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next Stardew Valley episode. Bye, guys!